it's Jason with Carolina Cooker and today we have one of our skillets that's taken on a little bit of rust. You've probably heard a sob story or two about a skillet spending overnight outside at a campfire or maybe a well-meaning loved one putting it in the dishwasher. These things happen. The important thing to remember is don't panic. This stuff is durable. We're going to show you today how to use some simple household items to strip this rusty layer off of the skillet, get it ready to accept some new seasoning and have it looking like brand new. So all the ingredients we'll be using today are right here. We've got white vinegar, water, baking soda, salt, seasoning oil, and some scrubbing pads. So we're going to start by soaking the pan in equal parts of vinegar and water. It's gonna hang out in there for about 30 minutes. Just cause it's not that much rust on here. If you have a more, a rustier pan, maybe take two to six hours to soak in the same vinegar and water solution. Okay, so after our 30 minutes soak, we're gonna take the pan out and we're gonna empty our tub here of the vinegar and water, get this pan to get nice and dried off and then start to scrub it. So our pan is done with its 30 minute soak. Now, as soon as we take it out, we're going to sprinkle some baking soda on top of there, do both sides. We're going to put some salt in. So salt helps the scrub, makes it more abrasive, helps you to scrub it out. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of vinegar over the top of that baking soda to get it fizzing. When you're cooking with cast iron, not supposed to use any high acidic foods because it eats away at the seasoning. That's exactly what we want here. We want to strip down that top layer so the vinegar and baking soda is going to help to do that. And I'm just going to scrub now all around the pan. Okay, so now that we've got it dried off, we're ready to start seasoning. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil in the bottom and just take a paper towel and wipe that all the way around the skillet. Get any oil that may be pooling in here so you can spread it out along the outside of the skillet. Every surface. Okay, now that we have a nice seasoning layer of oil on our skillet, we're gonna park it in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. Okay, so our skillet's out of the oven, cooled off, and has a nice base layer of seasoning here. Uh, if your skillet comes out a little splotchy or you're unhappy with the result of the seasoning, feel free to reapply the oil again, wipe it clean, and then bake it in the oven for another hour. And you can repeat that cycle as many times as you want to achieve the desired layer of, of seasoning. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to strip rust off and re-season cast iron. We prefer this one just because it's using household items, relatively inexpensive. Uh, so I would say definitely start here. If you'd like to see some more tips on how to care for cast iron, please come visit us at carolinacooker.com.